Well, hello and welcome back to our show. As promised, we're going to take you up north now to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. And they've been having some terrific racing up there, and this was no exception. This past Tuesday, they had the open handicap trot. I believe it was $25,000 purse, and with that, here's lovely Heather. Yep, and here we're going to check out Holiday Credit, who is the favorite, and this is his second start of the season for trotter, trainer extraordinaire, Jimmy Tactor. You but, like I, Oh, I love Jimmy Tactor. Just checking. Um, but get this, also in here we've got Sauce2K, who had 13 wins last year mm -hmm. and over $185,000 in the bank, and also Westland Sun, he had 16 wins trip. last year, 16, and that's crazy, and over $214,000 in the bank. Underway, and first to show there, it's Westland's Sun quickly firing out for the early lead. Sauce2K going to join him out there, but Westland Sun will take over with Sauce2K second, and it's a length and a half back to talk about me third. Holiday Credit gets away fourth, past the eighth mile marker there, then a gap of two to Nicole's Promise, and the early trailer is Big Boy Lloyd. Westland Sun only knows one way to roll. That's on the front end. Leads him across the paddock turn in the quarter, 27 and three-fifths. And Westland Sun, the 12-year-old veteran in from Chester with wins in five of his last six. Sauce2K is in the pocket there, second. Then it's Talk About Me, single file, third. Holiday credit, second time off the layoff, has been huge in his first two years of racing. He's now fourth. Inside fifth, the mayor, Nicole's Promise, who keeps hitting the board. And Big Boy Lloyd trying to bounce back here tonight. Right now, trotting sixth, heads to the outside to follow the cover of Nicole's Promise. They're at the half mile in 57 and 2, 29 and 4 for the second panel. Well rated there, and Westland Sun now ready for the uh, second half of the race up front. Inside Sauce 2K, now first over. Here comes Holiday Credit to make his charge. He's about two links off the lead in third. It boxed in there is Talk About Me. Nicole's Promise is following the cover on the outside fifth. Also out there is Big Boy Lloyd with about six links to make. Make up. Westland Sun has led since the get go, trying to hold off Holiday Credit. Three quarters, 126. That panel, 28 and 3. And Westland Sun, and now uh, getting company in the form of Holiday Credit, who is pulled even here. Sauce 2K still sitting there with the rail further back to Nicole's Promise and Big Boy Lloyd. At the top of the stretch, it's Holiday Credit on the outside. Westland Sun digging in on the inside. Look at Sauce 2K in the passing lane. Those three across. Sauce 2K trying to pull off the stunner. Westland Sun. Sauce 2K! Sauce 2K had a whole bunch of wins last year, but this is actually his very first win of 2009. Wins by a neck in 154 and 4. He got a good trip, mm -hmm. and it was a good payoff, too. 22.60 for a $2 wager with Joe Pavey Jr. in the bike. What in life is a $22 wager? <laughs> <race. laughs> That's it. <laughs> so Second was Westland Sun. He cut the mile, and Holiday Credit was third. All right. Let's stay in Pocono Downs. Race 10 on Friday, the Scranton Trot. It was a late closing final for three year old Phillies. Non winners of $25,000 lifetime. Whispering Wind with Mike Simons was odds on at 1 to 2. New Hampshire Girl, or as they say up there, New Hampshire Girl. With Larry Stahlbaum was the five to one second choice, and my mom's a blizzard. With Taylor Gower, the six to one third choice, Mother's Day special. Let's get the call. And right now, Whispering Rin dropping the hammer is out now by nine, going up to double digits. Trying to get into it, Lady B. Pearl second. New Hampshire girl is back there in third. Mischief Lady fourth at the top of the stretch. Lonely on the lead is Whispering Win, threatening to make a mockery of this Scranton late closer final. Mike Simons just a tap for good luck. Well, if this were a prize fight, they would have stopped it. Whispering Win beat them like dogs by a dozen. I'm talking 12 lengths in 155 and 1. Lady B. Pearl is 16 to 1 shot with Pavey. You got second. And another bomber, 32 to 1, Mischief Lady, finished third. You could have wheeled the chalk on top for 72 bucks and got back 160 for a buck. Is that chump liver? Let's stay at Pocono Downs and find out what happened in the Wilkes Barre late closing series. And with that, Here's Heather. Okay, we uh, do have the Wilkes-Barre final, and it's for three-year-old Philly Pacers, Amora Hanover. She's looking for her fifth straight win, and guess what? She's not even the favorite in here. Get out. Yeah, the favorite's credit rating, but I also want you to watch for Euphora BB and driver Greg Grismore. It's still every mile of memory going a big mile on the front end. Euphoria BB with the pocket trip, and now Amora Hanover has some daylight coming to the outside there third. Around the final turn, it's every mile. 
Isla Memory. Sizer trying to keep her alive. Amora Hanover on the outside with Moral flying. It's Amora Hanover taking over. Every mile of memory was the filly that did the work on the front, but mm -hmm. she's 50 to 1, so she got a little tired late in the mile. That's 50 to 1 to have to do. Right, exactly. Right. So Amora Hanover, she came home the fastest in the slop and the rain, but she paced in 153 and 1. Guess who was in the bike? Jim Moral Jr. <laughs> very good. You do that very well on cue. Thank you. He's the track's the leading driver. This night, he won seven. Count them, seven out of the 14 races on the card. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad at good all. Liver. In, ca in case you're wondering, <laughs> Euphoria BB was second and third went to Kiss Me Kate. My pleasure, darling. Mm. Okay, when we come back, we're going to have a talk with the coach. Evie, the coach helm, and also we'll have our blast from the past, and we'll go back 40 years to Liberty Bell Park. Sigh. Stay with me. Alex is the food guy. He's actually forgotten more about lamb than you'll ever know. He made the reservation, he ordered the wine, and he's the one to thank for this meal. So while you know terms like split aces and double down, he knows terms like drawn butter and pan seared. And when dinner comes, there's just something nice about having him at the table. That's why he'll always be a part of your group. Everyone plays a part at Harris. NF quotable guy. Why do so many winners Lola. travel in EB trailers? They love the ride. EB Pay Center Trailers deliver your horses in peak condition, ready to race every time. Designed to provide safe and comfortable transport for standard bred racehorses, EB's Pay Center Series Trailers are the preferred choice of professional standard bred trainers and breeders nationwide. All EB Pay Center models feature custom standard bred options and excellent airflow and aligned interior ceiling to keep your horses fresh and comfortable. Every EB trailer has commercial quality componentry and riveted sidewall construction engineered and designed to stand up to constant and rigorous horse and road use. And a sleek aerodynamic nose design that also delivers improved fuel savings. More winners ride with EB than any other trailer. EB, setting the pace in standard bred horse transportation. It's Mac Lobel, and he's pouring it on! It's Niatros by four, and he's going away! The Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame. A place where heroes come to life, preserving Harness Racing's treasured past while promoting its exciting future. And now, get ready to harness your excitement with the thrill of Harness Racing's 3D Simulator. The Harness Racing Museum and Hall of Fame, now offering free admission. Bigger. Better. Bolder than ever.